What's up guys? Welcome to Late Night Fraps. I'm Chris Brock, Supervisor, and this week is our off week, so we're going to be doing horror battles. Now, um, pretty much, uh, today is not my day. Uh, it is all random things today, but he asked me to fill in for him because he has some personal issues going on in his life. So he'll be back, uh, you know, tomorrow. He'll be doing, uh, you know, a video tomorrow on Wednesday, and then next week he'll be back to normal. He'll be on Tuesdays. I'll be on Wednesdays unless, you know, he needs another feeling or if I need another feeling, you know. But without further ado, I'm going to be uh, battling two Clyde Barker films, which one he actually directed, and that one is from the year 1987, Hellraiser, and the other one is from the year 1992, Candyman. So before I get on to the horror battle, I'm going to review both plots briefly. Okay, so pretty much a plot of Hellraiser. It opens up with this guy named Frank. He's in this foreign uh, foreign country where he's trying to buy this puzzle cube, or this puzzle box, I should say, from this mysterious seller, and Frank gives him a couple thousand dollars, which the seller grabs. Frank gets the puzzle box. He starts to walk away, and then the seller says, it's always been yours, which I thought was pretty creepy, but nonetheless, it cuts to Frank in a dark room where he has candles lit in a circle, which he's sitting in the middle of, trying to, you know, trying to solve the puzzle box, which he does, and out of nowhere, these chains and hooks just emerge and just dig into his skin and just rip his flesh apart, which I thought was pretty cool. And then it cuts to his brother, Larry, and Larry's trying to move into his childhood home to kind of try to be close or try to reestablish his uh, relationship with his second wife, Julia, which he's wanting his, you know, uh, uh, daughter to move in, but she just don't like Julia. She don't like her stepmom, uh, you know, to pretty much, to kind of sum it up, uh, Frank gets a cut on his hand when he's trying to move some furniture. And he goes upstairs to where Julia's at in this certain room. And she's having flashbacks of Frank, Larry's brother, who she had an affair with before she got married to Larry. Or when she was going to get married to Larry. And, uh, and he's bleeding. He needs some help with his cut. And the blood drips into the floorboard where Frank is buried. And pretty much brings him back. And uh, I don't want to say nothing from there. It's a very complicated plot to explain. But that is the plot of Hellraiser. Okay, so pretty much the plot of Candyman. It is about Helen. She's a graduate student who is pretty much conducting uh, research uh, on her thesis of... Fuck. Okay, so pretty much a plot of Candyman. It is about Helen. She is a graduate student who is conducting research on her thesis of urban legends. And she interviews some freshmen at the college to, you know, kind of get some suggestions on what she should, you know, research. And she hears about the local legend Candyman. So her and her friend Benedette, or Bernadette, excuse me, Bernadette, go and look in the mirror and say Candyman five times and nothing happens. Or does it? You just gotta find out. You gotta watch the film and find out. That's pretty much a basic plot of Candyman. Okay guys, starting off this horror battle, round one, which film do I think had the better kills? Was it Hellraiser or Candyman? Now, I think Hellraiser has some really good effects, some really good gore, and some really good kills. I do like the kills overall in Hellraiser. Um, I like, you know, the Cenobites killing people with hooks. I just think that's awesome. But that's really all we see. And I think, uh, they're good. It's the good kills and all, but I wish I could have seen a little bit more, like different, you know, like a variety of kills, which we do see in Candyman. You just see Tony Todd running around, just slashing people, dude, and it's awesome. I like the kills in both films, but honestly, I kind of like the kills in Candyman a tad bit more. So I'm gonna give round one to Candyman. Okay, so round two is which film do I think had the better storyline? Was it Hellraiser or Candyman? Um, I think Candyman had a really good storyline. I like how, you know, Tony Todd played Candyman. I think he did a really good, you know, job. I think he, it's probably one of my favorite roles of his is the Candyman role. I think he just fits it so perfectly. And when I was a little kid, I was terrified of Candyman. Um, I just, I think it's cool how he's an urban legend. If you say his name five times in the mirror, he comes and just brutally murders you. And I kind of like how he's like toying with Helen, you know. Uh, I'm not going to spoil the plot, but some points of time, it kind of makes, uh, you know, Helen look like she is the murderer. Uh, but with Hellraiser, um, I just think it's so cool with the Cenobites and, you know, uh, the puzzle box. You know, if you open it, there's like a whole new dimension of either pain or pleasure. I just, it is a wild. It is crazy. It is unique. It is original. I've never seen it done before, and I've never seen it done since. Um, I just, I think Hellraiser is very original, and I don't think, you know, I've never seen anybody duplicate it, is what I'm trying to say. People have kind of duplicated Candyman, so, 
Honestly, I think Hellraiser has a better storyline and it's more original than Candyman. So round two goes to Hellraiser. So round three is which film do I think had the better acting? Uh, Hellraiser, you have Doug Bradley and Ashley Lawrence, uh, who I think did a great job. Um, Candyman, you have Tony Todd and Virginia Madsen, which I think they both did a great job. Obviously, the standouts in each film, to me, is the villains, you know, Pinhead and Candyman. But I do think, you know, uh, you know, Ashley Lawrence as Christy did a really good job, and I think uh, Virginia Madsen did really good as Helen. I really don't see a clear winner here. I think they both equally matched each other's performances, so I'm going to have to give round three a tie. Okay, guys, so round four is which film do I think had the better killer? Is it Pinhead from Hellraiser, or is it Candyman from Candyman? Uh, this is kind of a tough one because I do think, uh, you know, Tony Todd as Candyman, he does a really good job. And I think Doug Bradley as Pinhead does a really good job. I think Candyman is more of an underrated horror villain than Pinhead. I really like them both, man. They both do a really good job. This is kind of tough. Okay, so I'm going to look at it this way. If you take away one, if you could take away one, which one do you take away? And which one, if you took away one, how much, you know, if I take away Pinhead... That would kind of affect the horror genre because Pinhead, you know, he's had a horror, like a big impact in horror, in my opinion. Um, Candyman, he's had an impact, but I just don't think it's as big as Pinhead in the Hellraiser film. So I'll have to go round four, Pinhead. I think he is the better killer. He is a horror icon. He's up there with Jason Michael, Freddy, Leatherface. So round four goes to okay, guys. So Hellraiser. Round five is which do I think is the better overall horror film? Is it Hellraiser or Candyman? Um, I really liked Candyman going into this. I thought it was going to win the battle, but uh, I think honestly, overall better horror film is Hellraiser from the year 1987, directed by Clive Barker. I just think the the story is interesting. I think the effects are really good. Uh, it has tons of gore. Um, it's really like it. I think Pinhead is a great villain. I think Doug Bradley does a really good job as Pinhead, and I think Ashley Lawrence does a really good job as Kristen. I really like the characters. So overall, I think it's a classic film, and I, I'm glad I bought this, so I can't wait to check out the second one. Uh, but yeah, definitely check out um, you know Candyman, even though that Hellraiser won this horror battle. Definitely check out Candyman. Candyman, I think, is a pretty good film as well. But yeah, guys, this here is pretty much it for my horror battle. Do you agree, disagree? Do you like Hellraiser, or do you like Candyman more? Leave a comment down below, and stay tuned for Little Rocker Cuties video. Or excuse me, sorry, I'm, I'm used to being on uh, Wednesdays. Stay tuned for all random things in this video. And be sure to check out our Facebook link and our website link down in the description. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.